Hello to all the percussionists preparing to audition for a regional band in Arizona. My name is Wes Hawkins. I teach percussion at Phoenix College, and I decided to make this video because I haven't seen very much guidance on how to set up a successful video audition using the Opus Events platform. Earlier this week, uh, AMEA Vice President Eric Zimmerman put out a video demonstrating how to do the recording and how to uh, log in and use all the features of Opus Events. Uh, and that's a very good video to watch for that technical end, but this video is going to focus specifically on how to set up the video and uh, enhance the audio for your percussion audition. So from what I understand, Opus Events will allow you to record each component of your audition as a separate shot. So you'll be able to adjust your camera or your microphone and uh, really set up each shot for each different scale or etude or sight reading that you have to do. So that takes away the pressure of having uh, a time crunch and trying to fit everything into one camera position for the entire audition. So you'll, you'll have plenty of time and you'll be able to test record each, uh, each component before you actually submit a, a, the performance version. Uh, for your minimal setup, you're going to need a laptop computer or a desktop computer uh, running Chrome, uh, optimally for Opus Events. Uh, I also highly recommend that you have a USB camera. This is just a you know a, a 1080p uh, cheap camera I got off of Amazon. I just mounted it on a tripod, so it's up high enough, uh, and that's connected via USB into my laptop. By the way, I just have my laptop. Uh, sitting on a music stand. I made sure the stand was very firm and it's not wobbly and gonna uh, buckle under the weight of my laptop. I also put some, uh, just some shelf, non-slip shelf liner underneath it so the laptop won't slip off the metal stand. So starting at the xylophone, I'm going to set up my webcam maybe about eight feet over to the left side of the xylophone and I'll have my laptop computer there also so that I can press record and see what's going on. But the camera position itself will be uh, from the left side. Okay, so with the camera placed on your left side, I'm going to uh, demonstrate playing a major scale. What, as, what I'd like to see as a judge is to be able to see your hands gripping the mallets and your mallets striking the top of the instrument. Uh, I don't need to see your feet. I don't need to see your, your head even for this shot. Here's a major scale. Remember that your major scale should be two octaves and it should be a minimally 120 beats per minute. Okay, so remember that the sight reading uh, will be provided by Opus Events and it will be on your computer screen. So this is why it's handy to have your USB camera off to the side. Uh, I am going to use my laptop and I'm going to put it on the music stand and I'm going to put it on the right in front of the xylophone. I'm going to try to center it in the range that I need to play for the sight reading so that I'll be able to use my peripheral vision to see both the music and to see the instrument. So this will work out pretty well. If you don't have a USB camera that's separate from your computer and you're actually using your laptop as the camera that is filming you, I might recommend a secondary monitor if you can set up that. So your laptop can be over on the left and you can have, you can move the image from the sight reading over to the same position right in front of the xylophone. It'd be really difficult to try to read over here and to play accurately on the xylophone. I also recommend setting up the snare drum camera over to the left. Please do not put the music stand between the camera and you. We'd like to see your hands and your sticks striking the top of the drum. Uh, don't forget, you'll also need to set read on snare drum. So having your laptop uh, be able to switch into that so you can read off the laptop is going to be uh, recommended as well. For your timpani etude, you do not need to tune the drums on camera. Just record the etude directly into Opus Events. Notice that the camera position to the left of the timpani and slightly above the drums allows us to see the technique and the beating spots during the performance. Be careful not to place your camera or microphone too close to any one of the drums because the proximity effect might make that one sound louder than the others. So if you're planning on using a microphone, you're First thing you're going to need is a USB interface. I have a Zoom U44 
but uh, almost any uh, USB audio interface can work. It just connects to your computer via a USB cable, and then you can connect a microphone into uh, one of the inputs uh, via XLR cable. Uh, the other good thing about this is it allows you to control the gain level for each um, specific microphone or environment you're recording. And uh, the other thing that uh, most of these have, it says 48V, uh, that's phantom power. So if you're using a condenser microphone, such as this Sennheiser E614, uh, then you are able to power that microphone through the USB interface. Um, dynamic microphones like the Shure SM57 don't require any fa uh, phantom power. They are just a dynamic microphone and they pick up things pretty well also. This is a brief sample of the xylophone excerpt being recorded by the webcam, which is right over there. Okay, now here's that same sample being recorded by my laptop computer's internal microphone. Okay, here is the xylophone excerpt recorded by the Sennheiser uh, uh, condenser microphone that is about 18 inches below the xylophone, aimed straight up at the middle of the instrument under the resonators. Okay, and here is the excerpt recorded with the uh, good old Shure SM57 microphone, which is also mounted by boom stand about 18 inches below the center of the instrument aimed right up at the resonators. Zoom also makes a whole bunch of products that are excellent for this purpose too, because they are a high quality camera with a built-in stereo microphone. Many of these products come with a very short USB cable, so it might be a good idea to have a USB extension cable like the one shown on the left here. By the way, I've mentioned a whole bunch of specific products here, and none of these are required to be successful in your audition. Just try to use the best technology that's available to you in this situation. I think the best idea would be to ask your band director what gear they have that might help you enhance your audition. Uh, one other thing I'd like to say is take the time to do the test recordings and to make sure that your gain level is set appropriately. Uh, that can, if the gain is too high on the mic, then everything can come out just distorted and the judge will have no opportunity to hear if there's any dynamic contrast or tone quality being produced in your performance. One other important consideration would be the proximity of the placement of the microphone to the instruments. I might recommend mounting your microphone as high above the timpani as you possibly can. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or just want to reach out to me, you can email me at wes.hawkins at phoenixcollege.edu. I want to wish you the best of luck in your regional audition, and I'll see you soon.